hi guys welcome to short no life so in today's video we are doing another let's make it short and this is the inspiration picture um as you can clearly see somewhere along the line i kind of started doing my own thing i really didn't mean to i was trying my hardest to actually get the um to do what the picture was but i don't know i just stopped looking at the picture and forgot that's what i was doing but anyway, let's just begin the video. So to start off, this is my birthday set. I've had this on for a while. I think I had this on for two weeks. I did break the thumbnail by accident and I actually pried it off. Please don't do that. Please file your nails down. But I, yeah, it was irritating me because it was so jagged. So I just pulled it off, which is wrong. But I'm going to be honest, I did do that. But I'm just going to now um, remove the polish from my nails and I do want to apologize for all of the cuts I know they're kind of jump cutty and like all over the place but uh it was the best that I could do I don't know what I was feeling but it wasn't right but so it please excuse me I'm also going to shorten these nails today I actually made them too short. I didn't mean to go as short as I did, but I do love short nails. But right now I'm just taking my sandy band and going up into the cuticle area and I'm also smoothing out the rest of the nails so they're not so bumpy. And I do wanna say, if you saw the thumbnail pictures, this is like a, a recreation, not recreation, but a transformation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but right now on camera, I'm just pushing back my cuticles, which I kind of already did that with the sanding band, but it's okay. I'm doing it again, but this is a transformation from like blingy nails to wearable nails. And when I say wearable, I don't mean that I, I would never wear these nails. I mean, wearable as in a sense is like some people ask me to do nails that they can wear to the office basically. And that's what I mean. Wearable is like everyday people can wear these and they don't feel like they're over the top or something or they just don't feel like you know blingy and now they I guess so yeah this is a transformation set but what I'm doing on camera is showing you all of the products I'm using I'm using the young nail system I'm using LGN pro dehydrator young nails protein blunt I'm also using this Ro Rosalind builder gel and it's in the color purple I've had this for a couple of months, maybe a year or more, and I just never used it. So I figured that today would be a good day to test it. And I'm also using all of these glitters. I just wanted to have a variety and I think I used all of them. And I'm just pointing, when you see me point, I'm showing you the colors that I think I'm gonna use in the set. It may not be the same color, but I'm doing what I think I'm gonna use. So I'm just going to now dehydrate the nails and then I'm going to protein bun and I'm going to do two coats of protein bun. So as I was saying earlier about the transformation nails, so yeah, I'm just basically making these go from blinky to a more casual I would say business. I'm not in corporate America yet, but um, I'm honestly, I'm always going to be me. And I don't feel like my nails are over the top when I do them for myself, I guess. So I will wear these nails, like the toned down version to work. I would have no issues. I wouldn't feel like they stand out and would be a problem at work. And I really don't feel like why are people judging your freaking nails anyway? But yeah, this was my version of toning this down. And if you like this idea, let me know to do like a more blingy set and then a more toned down set in the same video. I would be really interested in hearing your feedback. But right now I am just putting that purple on the nail because I'm going to do an ombre. So I'm just going to put it at the tip of the nails. I'm not building this up super thick. As you saw, I did a very thin layer and I am going to spread that the whole over the whole nail. And I did that because it is a purple builder gel. So it was not clear. So it will be harder to penetrate with the light, but it is, it is kind of sheer. I didn't get as much pigment as I thought I would get using it. It kind of turned out more pinkish, honestly, to me than purple. I thought it was going to be the same purple that's in the jar, but it didn't turn out that way. 
and then I did two coats of that and I'm just going to do the same thing on the um, pinky I do also want to quickly mention that I am not using the same brush that I used to do on my nails I used to use this um brush this is a young nails gel brush I used to use this to do their application but I actually hate this brush <laughs> I'm sorry but I hate it so I use it to do the purple part and I use my LGN Pro to do my new color and so I'm just trying to create the ombre and the way I edit this it seems like I may have did maybe one or two layers but I actually did this in layers <laughs> I just didn't want to um overwhelm you guys with how many layers I did I probably did about three to be honest so yeah, to create the ombre that looked decent enough for me, I did do about two layers. And I did do the pinky ombre off camera because again, this video was super long with the transformation. And so now I'm just going to build up the ring as I already started building it up. So now I'm just going to take this palette and put this base coat on it. And I'm just going to open this glitter. This glitter actually glows in the dark. And I think this is sugaring glitter actually. So it's super fine. But it wasn't what I thought it was. And I honestly could have took that same purple that I ombre with. And I could have put this under there. So this turned out a little bit more sheer than I expected. But I'm not mad at it. I thought it turned out really, really cute. So I just ombre that color or that glitter up the nail. And then I just picked up random, well, chunky pieces. And I wasn't getting any small pieces. So you'll see me end up dumping it in a tray right here. And that's where I go in and I get all of those itty bitty small pieces. And I do maneuver the glitter as best as I can. And so I've cured that layer. And then I go in and I put that same glitter back on the nail. And then I dump this glitter because it has some more reflective pieces in it. And I thought it would stand out on the nail. And I've cured that after I maneuver the glitter the way I want it to go. I'm always manipulating this glitter. So what you see me right doing right now is putting a dot of base coat on that nail. I don't overdo it because I'm gonna use that little stamper tool to stamp that on the nail. And I struggled so much with that tool on this vid day. So you won't actually see me stamp it. I did, once I did this, I pulled it off. I had to redo it. So yeah, you see me do it. I'm just showing it for like demonstration purposes. But yeah, I had to redo both of them multiple times. And now I'm going to create that ombre. And I do my ombres with the glitter in it sometimes now because I love when you have that iridescent shine through that ombre layer, if that makes sense. I just think it is so beautiful, but you can also do it on top. You don't have to put the pink over a little bit of the glitter, if that makes sense. You can definitely just encapsulate it. And so now I'm just going to encapsulate this nail. And I really don't have to go toward the cuticle because it's already built up back there. So I'm just really encapsulating the glitter. And now I'm wiping my nails off with alcohol. And I'm going to file and shape off camera because it was so much easier to cut that out so the video isn't too long. But I'm going to buff on camera. I always buff my nails now. It gets rid of the scratches and it makes the nails look so much nicer in the outcome. Especially since I'm not painting on top of them today. So I'm going to use the LGN bling glue and I just put it all over the pinky if you saw the inspiration pic you saw one of the nails had this I don't know <laughs> bling aspect or whatever and that's what I'm trying to recreate I was honestly trying to do all of the bling like that but for some reason I thought my the pointer was going to be a have a different style than what I actually ended up with because I did go through a couple of looks on that pointer and I was never satisfied. And even in the end, I was just not satisfied. So what you're seeing me do right now is removing that middle stone because it was so similar 
to the size I had and I think I had picked up a five and the small ones were a three I can't remember but you guys saw it and I really do want to try to stick with the tiny stones since this is on the pinky I don't want it to overpower the pinky and then I just add in those caviar beads which are a pain to work with and I tried to find the smallest caviar beads I could I had for this look um, I don't want the if you didn't know they do come in sizes I didn't want the really big chunky ones because that would have been bigger than the actual stones on the nails to be honest so yeah I tried to create recreate this look this is probably the only nail that turned out like the picture I'm gonna be honest that glitter nail I meant to do a glitter fade coming from the cute the other cuticle of the nail but some type of way i ended up with what i came up with and it was an accident but i really did like that nail that was probably my favorite and so i just put this little thing on the nail and i actually turned it into a crown but i made the video shorter and unfortunately i cut that footage but i didn't like the nail which is why i cut the footage i'm sorry i did not like the bling placement on that nail the nail was too short and it just it didn't look good so that's what happened to the footage so right now i'm just putting this i put this charm i got from shein on my nail and it just it was too it didn't take up enough space on the nails so my trick is to just put triangles on the side of um charms like that and it makes the charm look bigger so this is what i have come up with and i think it turned out really good i really do like this but I'm gonna be honest, like I said, I don't like the pointer finger. It's too much for that short nail and I didn't realize it. So that's what made me start the whole transformation process of transforming the nails to something different. And plus I also pick at the charm. So I knew I wasn't gonna be able to keep them on. And I did this on day two. I really didn't film this because I'm gonna show you how I removed this middle stone anyway. But that's all I did was remove everything and just buffed and top coated. And I really love this too. You can absolutely do this for your toned down version. I don't think anybody would think anything of it either if you were to wear this at a business setting. But again, I'm not in corporate America yet. I will be there soon. So yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I'm just gonna remove these stones Honestly, I can't wear stones. I love the look. I am obsessed with it, but I cannot personally wear stones. I'm saying stones, but I mean charms. I can't wear charms. I pick at them. They feel heavy on my nails. I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? I feel like I feel weird for saying that, but that's really the reason why I don't wear them. I actually feel like I can feel them and they feel heavy. And so I, that was makes me like try to poke them and push at them. So eventually I just end up just pulling them off. But I love them. I think they're so beautiful and I keep buying them. And in a few weeks, you guys will see a huge charm haul for me. And it's like, why did I buy all of these and I can't wear them? But it doesn't matter. I love them. I am so obsessed. So I'm just going to recreate what I did earlier. And here is the glitter again I just put it in the base coat and then I mixed it up so this didn't actually turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out but I found a purple that kind of matched the color of the whole set in really closely and I just put some base coat on the nail so it is wet and I just drew lines through it that i think this didn't turn out because this color wasn't pigmented enough and with the base gel or whatever i think i had base gel on there or top coat i can't remember with it already diluting it and making it spread it just it went to nothingness and then i did put that glitter on there and i was trying to make it look like sparkles throughout the nail and again it didn't turn out the way i expected in my mind for it to turn out but it did turn out really pretty and all I really wanted was just like a base for the foil that I was going to use to be honest it was actually um water decals I originally did that 
but I failed. I couldn't get the water decal to stick. And I don't know why I've used water decals plenty of times. So I did switch it over to these foils. And again, it turned out really nicely. I cannot complain. But however, I think I put one of these on upside down. It will be the one at the cuticle I'm going to put on last. I think it's on upside down. So it did not transfer or I waited too long fooling with the other ones, which made it not tacky anymore. But something happened. So what I do off camera to fix that because I didn't really want to re put another layer of foil gel on there. I just put a sticker on instead and that worked out perfectly so as you see it didn't come off <laughs> and this is how that turned out and again like i said this is just a more toned down version of what i started with and again if you love this let me know because i can do more videos intentionally for this this kind of was just like an accident but i still love it i love the way it turned out thank you guys for joining me please feel free to like comment and subscribe i do new videos every tuesday and friday have a great day guys bye